So today on uh, Living in Romania, we're going to have a look at Altania, uh, requested by two of my um, subscribers. Thank you very much for the interaction. And if you interact, you get results. So we're going to talk about Altania. Now, Altania is uh, about language, about people, about places, um, about food, about drink. And um, I'll explain that a bit later in the video. Uh, one thing I talk about is the language and the tense, the simple perfect tense or the preterite tense. Now in Altania, you use this tense if something's happened recently, certainly within the last hour or certainly the last 24 hours. So it's a very recent past tense. Uh, it's not used in spoken form elsewhere in Romania, although it's perfectly correct. Uh, the places uh, we, we're going to talk about, um, obviously I'm here in Craiova, the, 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 the capital of Altania. Um, I could have talked about more about some of the other cities, but we're not there. So I think it's better for me to talk about those when I can show you the sites there. But I'll mention them. So we've got Slatina on the river Alt, and um, Slatina is, uh, has the biggest flag in Romania, and it's a rather a, uh, interesting city, a lovely city. Um, we've got Adamnica Vulcha, to the further to the north, which is a historic um, city, well worth a visit with some lovely shopping malls uh, around the river, River Mall, I think one of them is, is called. Um, we've got Drobeta Tunu Severin down by the Danube, where the Emperor Constantine built his bridge across the river when uh, the Romans came and fought the Dacians. Um, so uh, they've kept part of it. Uh, it's an historic monument, and you can still you can still visit part of it. But because of the dam that's been built there, um, the river Danube has has risen. So they've had to move the bridge up slightly. So they've transferred it, but you can still see part of the original bridge, although it's in a different location. Um, and famous for its seafood, uh, Drobeta Tunu Severin. Um, and of course, Targuju with the sculpture garden uh, park, really, uh, devoted to Brancus, and then further north, Hobitsa, with his um, a, a representation of his, his, his home. It was actually moved there and is a, um, is a museum now. Uh, very interesting to see and then further down we've got the uh, Horezu, Horezu uh, which is a, uh, there's a there's a beautiful monastery there and it's also famous for its pottery uh, hand-painted uh, pottery so uh, without further ado we'll go out of the flat into the stairwell and I'll show you the latest development we've had in my block in my stairwell and then we'll talk a little bit more about Altenia. Thank you very much for watching. Bună ziua, bine ați venit. Well, the subject of our, our little video today is Altenia, suggested by one of my subscribers, G. Robert. Thank you very much for that suggestion. So I'll be talking about Altenia, famous Altanians, and what makes Altenia different from the rest of uh, Romania. But I thought I'd share something with you that's just happened in my apartment block. We've had uh, fire extinguishers installed, which is very good. And they're in locked boxes, as you can see. Do I have a key? No. If you have a fire, you go to the administrator of the block, which is about 200 meters away. And he's open in office hours. And you ask for the key, and then you come back and you unlock the box, and then you put out the fire. If it's outside office hours, you burn to death. That's Romania for you. I talked to the guy who was installing these, and he said, just smash the glass and get the fire extinguisher out. So, 
yeah, it's a security device to prevent people from stealing uh, fire extinguishers, I suppose. Right, let's go outside. Nice sunny day. Okay, Altania. Well, as I said previously, it's in the south. Um, we'll go this way. It's in the south uh, west of the country, and uh, it borders the Danube, and it comprises five uh, counties. Um, and it was previously known as Lower Wallachia or Southern Wallachia. And uh, the borders really run along the River Alt. The biggest towns are the capital is Krajeva, then you've got Slatina, uh, Adamnica Volcha, and um, right over towards Banat, you've got Drobeta Tunus Severin, which borders the, the Danube. Um, What's it famous for? Well, if you ask anyone in Romania what is Altania famous for, they're going to tell you Praz, leeks, which is a coincidental because my origin is Welsh, my family are from Wales, I lived there for about nine years, and the national vegetable of Wales is the leek. So we have much in common. I, I like leeks actually very much, and so do Altanians. Um, Altanians, yeah, are probably also associated with a film, <laughs> one of the best loved comedies um, from the previous era, the Golden Age. Uh, Nea Marin Miliadaru. So now Marine Millier, Millier, Billionaire, Billionaire, uh, played by a much loved uh, actor who sadly departed this world at an early age. I think he was 52, and I'll talk about him a bit later. And it's about an Altanian um, country person who goes on holiday. It's actually filmed on location in. Uh, uh, Olymp. There's a, a lovely resort, a quiet resort now. Uh, it's where the presidential palace, uh, the summer palace used to be. I think it still is actually in Olymp. And uh, it takes place there. But I'll talk about that a little bit later. So here we are on uh, Cala Bucuresht. And you can see they, they've done a lot of planting in the middle of the uh, street. They've planted it up with um, an array of tropical palms, etc. And coloured pebbles to beautify the city. And it, it, looks, it looks, looks much better now. Okay, what else is Altania famous for? We've talked about leeks, we've talked about Neomarin. Mm. Hot blood. <laughs> they're, uh, mm. they're a pretty hot blooded society, Sanje Calda. And uh, you can hear people, I think I said this in a previous uh, video, talking. You think they're fighting, arguing. They're not, they're just having a conversation. And that's uh, quite a common feature that they're quick to anger, quick to forgive. So, uh, probably very unlike the British who feel that revenge is a dish best served cold. So we bear grudges. <laughs> they don't. They get angry and then everything is forgiven in a matter of, matter of minutes. Uh, I suppose linked to that, they speak very quickly. So it's probably the worst place in Romania for me to have come to learn Romanian because it's tricky. Uh, Romanian is not an easy language. It combines the best features of Romance languages with the grammar of Latin and German. Three 
uh, genders, lots of <laughs> difficult, tricky verbs and verb forms. And it's, uh, yeah, it takes Romanians a long time to learn Romanian, which is why they study it till they're 18 at school. So it's, uh, it's not as easy as you would think. I know you like uh, a little pharmacy. So there we have our first pharmacy of the tour, Farmacia City Pharma. Very nice, City Pharma. Okay. Uh, so they speak quickly and they use a tense. I think I may have mentioned this earlier. They use a tense that people in the rest of Romania don't use. And that's the simple perfect or what we would call the preterite. I went, I did, I drank, I ate. So instead of saying am facut, which 90% of Romanians will say, they'll say facui. Ce facuș? What do you do? What did you do? Vazui, instead of am vazut. It's perfectly correct to use this tense. I'll just have another look at the rather nice center of the uh, the road here. Perfectly correct to use that tense, but the rest of Romania doesn't use it, so you're instantly carved out as a an Altanian if you use it. Uh, that's a good and a bad thing. Rather nice arrangement of stones here. A little park for children in the area to play with a little toadstool house in the distance and they're all playing there. So they do look after their children and think about their children and where they can play. They have lots of areas. So that's very Oltanian. There's a little song called Mafoku Mama Oltean. Mam Mama made me an Oltanian. And Oltanians are very proud of this. Okay, if we look at food, apart from uh, Apart from uh, leeks, there are uh, Altanian sausages. They're, they're delicious, they're thinner. Um, people say the best sausages come from Sibiu. Well, it's the home of the sausage because it's uh, in Transylvania where the Saxons were. But here in Altania, we've got Altanian sausages, which are a bit thinner. And uh, it's probably because they used uh, the intestines of sheep rather than pig or another animal to wrap them. So the skin of the sausage is from the intestine of the sheep, which is obviously smaller. So the sausages tend to be thinner. Oh, we've got another. How far have I gone? 50 yards. There's another Fanmachia. Fanmachia. And there's one over there. Al Shifa. So, uh, they don't eat blood sausages here, uh, what we call Karnats de Sanje. They don't eat those here, they do in Transylvania. So, if you like your black pudding or white pudding, you're not going to get it in Altania because they don't regard that as being a appropriate food. Um, a lot of fish is eaten here. And of course, we're about five hours from the sea, so it's fresh water fish, carp, uh, fish from the Danube or from lakes. And uh, apart from carp, we've got uh, uh, trout, pastrav. And uh, I, I was surprised to learn a river mackerel. I thought mackerel was a seawater fish, but it turns out they eat mackerel here from the uh, the river, so you also have the possibility of having mackerel, and uh, very nice it is too. They have, as I said, they have a reputation of being cunning, um, of getting away with things, and uh, this is exemplified in the film Nea Marin, Emilia Daro where the actor plays two, two roles and uh, he plays the role of a, a country boy who's come to the seaside on holiday and also of the 
uh, billionaire. So they get away with things, Altanians. And they like to boss the situation. They like to be in charge of a situation. So um, there's a, a legend that if you go into the street and say, hey, chef, hey, boss, everyone will turn around and everyone will think you're referring to them because everyone is the boss. Uh, okay, well, well, just cross the road here. Oh, I'll show you um, some flower stalls that we've got along here on uh, Cala Bucharest. A whole array of flower stalls for flowers for funerals, weddings, you name it. And don't forget, in Romania, as I said before, you buy even numbers for the dead and odd numbers for the living. So do not give your loved one a bouquet of 10 or 12 roses. Do not do that. Also wreaths here for funerals and a rather lovely array. A beautiful array of flowers and a funeral wreath which are made to order so rather conveniently this uh, <laughs> array of flower shops florists is located near the funeral parlors <coughs> Oh, we've got a tram going by. A fairly aged tram system in Cryova. Some of the buses are now electric. You don't hear them and uh, they don't pollute. But the trams trundle up and down the main street, Kala Bukuresh, linking one side of the city with the other. Uh, goes all the way from the Ford factory to Krovica, which is the other extremity of, uh, of the city. And uh, Krovica used to be famous for manufacturing uh, trams, trains. Electroputeremol, which is now a shopping center, used to be a huge factory for uh, manufacturing. Not anymore. Uh, it's all closed down. Psychiatric hospital. And a shop for patients. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, famous Altanians. Well, I was going to mention famous Altanians, but I'll just say one more thing about food before I, I do. Uh, Dragashan which is a bit further to the north, about an hour and a half from here. It's famous for its wine, so it's a wine producing region. And uh, Oltenia, is, well, Romania, and specifically Oltenia, were known as the granary of, uh, of Europe. They used to provide all the wheat for Europe. And of course, uh, Ceausescu paid off his debt uh, to the IMF by uh, selling food. So while the people starved, uh, Romania was the only country in living memory to have paid off its IMF debt. <laughs> it's never happened before and it won't happen again. Right, we'll come on next to the subject of famous Altanians. Right, so uh, famous uh, Altanians. And uh, sorry for the uh, interruption there, but I've just been to my time much here. <laughs> give, it a, give it a big up there. Heliconia. Wait, why do I go there rather than the others? Because it's cheaper. <laughs> and as I said, uh, 
Romanians have more medication at home than just about any other human race. So I got my medication, which is great. Nothing serious, I'm glad to tell you. Uh, right, well, I suppose if we're talking about Altanians, we should start with Nihat <laughs> Mardin, who is uh, Amza Pilia. And uh, I think he died at 52. He's from Bailesht, Bailesht, which is to the south of, uh, I think it's to the south of uh, Cryo, to the southwest. Um, very accomplished actor, comic actor, and uh, if you Google Neamadin on uh, YouTube, you may be able to see that, that film. Um, there's a great scene around a swimming pool where he's being chased or there's a road chase, if you like, around a swimming pool, which takes place at the complex uh, Amphitheatre or Amphitheatru uh, in um, in Olymp, and uh, is memorable for the uh, sound of the horn as he's being chased. It's a great, uh, great uh, song. Uh, okay, other famous remains. I'm going to restrict myself because there are quite a few, so to about ten. Adrian Paunescu. Adrian Paunescu. He was a poet. According to those who met him, including my father-in-law, um, a difficult person to get on with, um, and a bit of a controversial figure. Uh, but he wrote the hymn to the University of Craiova and is very well known. Well, it's from Burka, Burka which is in the south near Goicha, Goicha Mika. We've got a pizzeria over the road. Pizzeria Mazetti, Mazetti. How much is a pizza? Well, a big pizza is 18.9 ron. So that's going to set you back uh, three pounds, which is pretty good, or four dollars. And uh, happy hour is four to six, and you you get it for half price between four and six. So it's a pretty good deal, and it's the pizzeria that we use because it's pretty near to us. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so Adrian Paunescu, we mentioned. Petrake Poenaru. Ah, the Romanians are very inventive people. And Petrake Poenaru invented the fountain pen. What a great, what a great invention. And uh, it was, uh, he put the copyright down in, in, in Paris, I think. It was, uh, yeah, because he moved to France. Uh, so that's where the, the copyright uh, resides for the fountain pen. I'm not going to say too much about Brancusch. I mean, he is one of the most famous Oltanians from Hobitsa to the north of Targu, Targu Jiu. Uh, and I talked about him on a previous video, but he's got to be up there in the top 10. Eugène Ionescu, from Slatina originally, uh, the playwright who uh, again moved to France, moved to Paris and lived there for most of his life. Uh, he studied in Slatina, uh, sorry, he studied I think in, in Cryova and then moved to Bucharest where he studied French. Uh, famous for his plays, I'll just mention two or three. Les Chaises, The Chaises, uh, Rhinoceros, Rhinoceros, and uh, La Cantatrice Show, The Bald Prima Donna. Very interesting plays and performed, still performed regularly in Paris. Uh, okay, more famous Altanians. Jean or Johan, he was originally, but he changed his name to Jean Negolescu, film director who ended up in Hollywood and uh, directed, directed many films. 
uh, one of the most famous authors, dramatists, Marin Sorescu, and our theatre here is named after him. Our theatre in Kraiva uh, bears his name, Marin Sorescu, very famous dramaturge, dram dramatist. One of our main streets here in Kraiva is called Nikolai Titulescu. Titulescu. Now he was a diplomat, politician, diplomat, and was the first president, I think he was the first president of the League of Nations, and he held that post twice. So, a renowned diplomat. Okay. Then, uh, I've been a bit sexist on this list, sorry about that. Uh, there, are, there are famous Altanian singers, but I haven't heard them, so if I haven't don't know something about someone, I, I don't want to talk about them. Uh, but one lady who every uh, Romanian would, would know, uh, because she appears on the new 20 lei note, is, I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, Ekaterina Teodoroiu. You. Uh, she was an extraordinarily brave woman who in the First World War enlisted in the army pretending to be a man in the guise of a man she cut her hair short she wore glasses and uh, she served on the front line uh, sadly she was killed in 1917 uh, but uh, she's regarded as a heroine of the first world war and uh, uh, appears as i said on your 20 lay note so that's who she is uh, and my last is an inventor, um, a quite extraordinary inventor, Gogo Constantinescu. Gogo Constantinescu. Now, this guy <coughs> had an extraordinary career. He patented 130 inventions. 130 ranging from reinforced concrete, which he invented, to the Bristol aircraft, which he helped construct, to, in the First World War, a machine gun that could fire through the propellers of an aircraft. So he worked out the calibration and the I suppose the mechanical uh, dexterity to enable bullets to be fired between the blades of the propeller as uh, it was flying. And finally he developed uh, a theory of sonics which was at the time revolutionary. Uh, he moved to England actually and died in Cumbria in the north of England in Coniston. So very famous, noteworthy. Uh, Romanian and Altanian, more importantly. So you can see, Altanians are an inventive lot. Um, I could mention modern Altanians. There's a comedian who appears on De Conos de Andeba. I could mention the mayor of Kraiova, who's probably the most famous current Altanian. And of course, Ceausescu is an Altanian, so it's not all good. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of uh, an, a slightly different area of my uh, quartier and uh, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.